Welcome back, cousins, to our channel. Thank you for coming back. On this channel, we'll talk about faith, fun, fashion, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but definitely, we have a whole lot of love going on on this channel. Okay, cousins, I want to encourage you to toss your net on the other side. That means do something different. Do something you haven't done before. Um, do something that you have not tried to do before, and trust God in the process. So this year, I just want to encourage you to do something on your channel that you haven't done before. Okay, cousins. Let's go ahead and jump into this particular uh, video. I'm going to start off with uh, my outfit of the day. Um, something simple, no muss, no fuss. Um, I have this uh, paper, um, like newspaper shirt. I was hauled at the beginning of my time hauling, um, I think sometime in March. I started February 4th of last year, so sometime in March of last year. So yeah, so here you have it. No, no big deal, no muss, no fuss. Had to do a couple of errands. Um, so I figure I just throw this on with some um, honeycomb uh, uh, leggings that I have on with it and just call it a day. If you want to know my lipstick, this lipstick is uh, Hope. Um, it's from uh, by Tahara. She has a, a lipstick brand. If you want to check out the lipstick haul, definitely. I'll link this on in my description. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. So this color is called Hope. And it's also good. And I just figured, like, I love to smell good. I figure I wear this Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, I had that for Christmas. When I first put this on, because I hadn't had it, when I first put this on, it first reminded me of an old person. I don't know if anybody else thought about that, but then after a while, I began to say, okay, now I can work with this. But yeah, that's just what your girl rocking today. All right, cousins. So today, we're going to be talking about the nine of the best 2022 spring um, trends for women of fashion who are women who are over 40. That's right, for women over 40. Um, previously last year in 2021, uh, a lot of times it was about women who were showing their midriff, sheer, short shorts, um, and that was mainly for the younger crowd, but I'm a much more mature uh, woman. Some of those fashions are coming in, but I wanted you to, I want to teach you and tell you what I've learned, what the fashions are for 2022. If you want to learn more, Wait a minute and stick around. Okay, cousin, so I have my little cheat sheet here so I don't forget, you know, what I want to talk about. Um, and somewhere here, I'll link the picture either here or even there or even there, over there. No, more likely probably here. I think I might link it here somewhere, but I'll link it and then that way you'll see the pictures I'm talking about. And then I'll also link the site where I got it from. Okay, cousin, so as I stated, uh, in 2022, uh, I'm already ready for the spring. I mean... Springtime, where I'm so looking for. Soon after Christmas, I'm already thinking about what your girl will be wearing for spring. So it really brings something for me to hope for. So what I want to do on today uh, um, is to give you some information about some of the 2022 trends for women over 40. That's right, for women over 40. So we're going to talk about, I got this information from Fountain of 30. Um, and this is the information that they collected. They had done their research. Um, they have done their due diligence. Um, so I can provide you with this information. Uh, what they've done was already prepared for Fashion Week in New York. And they also wanted to give you trends that's going to be um, in London, Milan, Lon uh, that's mentioned London, Milan, New York, and other areas that are having the runway Fashion Week that's coming up. So for those of you that go to Fashion Week, I hope one day I get there with you. For all of you content creators, I hope I get there with you. So I want to go ahead and tell you about the women over 40, uh, what they're looking to do. Um... Some of the things are from previous seasons, like the you'll see bright items, you'll see uh, neon and cutouts, but it'll be to the extreme, right? But some of the cutouts are for some of the younger ones, but now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you for more of the more mature women like myself. Okay, so let's start by look number one. Okay, the look number one, or, or the number one I'm gonna talk about of the nine is gingham. That's right, gingham. Gingham print is definitely another, is coming back in 2022. Gingham print is a very beautiful print that you see, you should see it somewhere on the screen, that it it's, 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 it's can be done so well. You've seen people like Michael Chorus that has showed off a collection in that. Brandon Maxwell, and Carolina Herrera, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Herrera, Herrera. Forgive me if I don't always say the name right, but that's the name. 
So, um, yeah, so the, those major designers are the ones who have done gingham completely right. As you can tell, they've done the, the style of gingham right. Big, bold pattern gingham, some small, but gingham is in. I think gingham is one of those patterns that really, if you do it right, can stay and be a staple pattern that can stay for a long time. If it's done correctly, I really believe gingham will be that type of item and type of print that won't run out definitely definitely so that's one of the trends that are coming back for women over 40 you'll see more of that for the year spring of 2022 the next one is one of my favorites and fun is the crochet crochet i had some crochet pieces in um a lot of times you'll see the crochet over swimwear but i hadn't worn it as an outfit you've seen people wearing in different things but crochet is definitely a great uh, one that is coming back in 2022 it was in 2021, but it's coming back again. Uh, again, like I stated, everything that's coming back is to the extreme now, right? It's bigger and bolder and brighter. And these are the things that you want to look out for as if you're looking to be more fashion forward and trend and, and a trend. Now, everybody's not a trend. I go for what I like. I like what I like. And oftentimes it is trendy things, but I like what I like. And um, so definitely crochet is going to be done. You'll see it in so many ways. Um, Alberta Ferretti, 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 uh, Ferretti, uh, Chloe, um, they've done some amazing pieces in crochet. Crochet is a real, like I stated, it's really, 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 um, uh, a statement piece, if you will, or a statement, yeah, statement piece. Uh, I've seen them done in dresses, shirts, skirts. Everything has been done in crochet. And I think those are one of the things that's fun. Um, you can wear it over something and it just have a fabulous time with that. So definitely start looking out for some crochet pieces. You'll start seeing. And, and a matter of fact, a lot of the stores now, they have the crochets coming in. Um, not right, maybe not the second, but you'll be seeing them coming in. You should take a look out for your favorite stores and see what they have coming in to check that out as well. So definitely number two, I'm going to talk about the nine is a crochet. Okay, number three, which is my absolutely, absolutely favorite, dramatic draping. Dramatic draping. Moreau Steels, shout out to her. She is one of my favorite. I mean, if she don't come on TV, uh, on YouTube, I'm mad at her. So, Moreau, if you ever watch me, I'll be mad at you if you don't come on. She is phenomenal. An amazing, amazing, amazing content creator, influencer. She is amazing. Um, she wore like a, she wears a lot of these designer pieces that I'm talking about. She's really, um, I consider to be really fashion forward type person and fashion sense and fashion minded. But she wore for New Year, I believe. It's dramatic. I'll be talking more about the neon later. But it was a big, bold neon dress, but the dramatic of the sleeves. And she's really good with wearing draping, amazing drapery. Um, Rick Owens um, have done, done a great job with um, with the draping. And uh, Alberta Ferretti and Oscar De La Rente, or De La Rente done a wonderful job with these um, particular draping. Draping in, in dramatic drapes, it's going to definitely still be in. I mean, if you don't like it too, so, too bad, so sad. Because it is definitely in for spring 2022 and it really is a dramatic take um and I'm, it is done if it's done tastefully it could be so dramatic but so beautiful but yeah i love the big bold dramatic sleep okay so uh and dramatic all over the place drapery dr drama all over the place um it's, it's definitely the thing number four okay number four is more of the popcorn texture or the frou-frou um, you know, the popcorn texture or the fruit, fruit, fruit stuff you'll see, you should see it on the screen. Uh, it's very much in, it's going to be very much in, it's very fun, very, uh, trendy. Uh, but if it's done again, tastefully, it can be done in a nice way. It reminds me back in the day, um, some of the dramatic foo 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 stuff that was all over. Um, women had it then. So even for a, our age. And older, that is still part of the trend. That this is these this information I'm getting from the latest, like I stated, from uh, people who are gone on, who done their research and done insight on what's going to be on the runway this year. Now, granted, not everything that's on the runway might be your particular style, especially if you're a woman of my age. But if it's done correctly, it can definitely give a statement, and people know that you definitely are in style. So a lot of people like Givenchy. Uh, had done something with the popcorn um, and the fruit fruit. Jill Sander 
um, you know, just to name a few um, who have done some mighty piece, some amazing pieces with a lot of the popcorn look, the frou frou look, and you know, things of that nature. So definitely that's gonna be in. Number five, which is my best, this is one of, I can't even say best, but this and another one is gonna be one of my favorite ones. I am a big girl. When I was younger, I used to always wear black until I realized I was still fat, and black didn't really hide my fat. So I began to go even bigger. Highlighter, that is gonna be definitely a trend that's gonna come back and stay. Highlighters, highlighter, neon, big, bold, bodacious colors, looking like a marker. I mean, that's what it's gonna be. I mean, uh, if I can, I'll probably also pop one of my pictures when I had last year, when I had went to Miami, I looked like a big old highlighter and people were, I was given, people loved that look people love it and i love it i mean it's my personality i'm big bold fun daring just out there and this is like here i am it's like boom here a girl is like boom boom here a girl is but it's gonna it's coming back so you guys definitely want to keep the trend now if you're not, one if you're a person that like too bright all over then do subtle pieces you know maybe your shoes or pop an earring the belt, but again, um, if I could get that picture, if I didn't bring it up again, that picture from Moreau still, she, Moreau, you the bomb girl, I love her. She did that, a neon greenish dress for New Year's, she did it right. She definitely did it right. So definitely highlighter, that is gonna be one of my favorites. So I'm gonna look like a big old highlighter going out again for the spring. So I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. Um, so people that have done it, like uh, Bottega Veneta, that, that they've done some highlighters. Alexander McQueen, uh, Ro Roderick, uh, Roderte, I believe that's how you pronounce it, done some amazing, amazing, amazing pieces with big, bold, bright, fresh looks, and it was just amazing, mind-blowing. You gotta be bold to wear, but I think, it, I just love color. I'm a, I'm a color girl, no pun intended. But I do love color, okay? So that is definitely gonna be great. Okay, my number six is the not so mini skirts. Okay, as I stated, we're talking about for women over 40, the not so mini skirts. Not so many. You don't want, you know, you're not little teeny boppers, not little kids, and I, you know, you know, I don't wear too many of I never wore a mini skirt in my life, but um the little more mature look, but yet together and sexy all at the same time. Moscano, uh Chanel, and Christian Dior have done a great job with this type of look where it's not too too short where it's showing your thigh but it's long enough but yet short enough that's sexy enough in my opinion for women my age however you wear what you want to wear i'm not no judgment here you may i may have something you don't like so you know everybody wear what they want to wear but this is just my report back to you for the research that i've done okay so i told you i want to be good to my family we're going to do some things and we're going to level up in all areas of fashion okay one of my other favorites that's coming up is going to be number seven, tails and trains. Oh my word, oh my word. Again, it, it, when you have a tail and a train, it brings me to the idea of dramatic. So definitely dramatic look is going to be in with the tails and the trains uh, on your item, whether it's a coat or it's a skirt or whatever. It is phenomenal. So yes, the tri tr uh, tails and trains, Low Peter Doe and Burberry have done some amazing pieces uh, that represents the, the tails and trains of these new items for 2022. Eight, absolute favorite, absolute favorite out of everything, psychedelic. Psychedelic is bring me back in the day. It bring me back in the time of my youth. Psychedelic colors, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, designers like Brandon Maxwell, um, uh, Christian Dior, and uh, Dres Van Norte, I believe, Norton? Is that, maybe I said it wrong. Um, but I've never been a designer label person, but I just wanted to let those of you who may know these individuals to know that they that this style is definitely the trend. So when you go looking for your items, even if the, these designers didn't make it, you know you're still within the trend, no matter who made it. I could have made it, as long as it looked good, right? So you, that's what I wanted to let you know. That's why I'm giving you these desired names to let you know. But Psychedelic is one of my fun, favorite type of uh, uh, print, uh, dress. I love it. Because, and last and not least, we're going to talk about pants under skirts. Um, if, if you, last year, um, even from Shein, they had like long 
dresses that you button up and they have the pants to go with it. You know, or you can wear your dress and pants underneath. In Chicago, I think I made that style up because I like my dresses, but when it got cold, I put some pants underneath there anyway. Uh, her, yeah, yeah, listen, to stay warm because you may like the dress, but you want the pants to stay warm, but it's a whole look, it's a whole vibe. And if it's done right, you definitely will know that you have hit the mark with this. Uh, designers like uh, Jill Sander, Alberta Ferrer Ferretti, and Chanel have done these uh, type of, um, type of uh designers where they have the pants and the dresses so cousins i know i'm already said a lot but i want to go ahead and give that to you you go ahead and have happy shopping as you're pairing yourself for spring thank you for rocking with a girl like me don't forget to like share subscribe tell your friends cousins help me get to 2000 at least 2000 trying to do it by february 14 because i need your help please go tell your cousins your other cousins about me call your friends your family your foes tell them to ring that bell uh, like, share, subscribe. Subscribing is free. So if you watch me, I guess you like me. But cousins, thank you for watching Rockin' With A Girl Like Me. Why? Because it's oh so me. God bless you.